Thank you for joining me on this last segment of the GSMC Chip Shot Football Podcast to talk not so much on the field but off of the field. It all has to do in relationship with each other. You look good, you play good, and that's what Marvin Harrison Jr. is trying to do when he signed with New Balance earlier this offseason, joining Chase Young and Houston Texans pass rusher Will Anderson as the only three NFL players representing New Balance in the league. So back uh, yesterday, Her- Marvin Harrison Jr. helped New Balance unveil their first ever football cleats that he'll be um, debuting in their game against the Buffalo Bills on uh, September the 8th. He'll be the first player ever to wear um, these new cleats as well with New Balance getting into more of the NFL realm, trying to dive, the, trying to dip their toe into this new sport. They already have something going in basketball and in soccer, but not too much in football. And I think they're doing it a, the right way, you know, getting some of these younger guys to do it. You have uh, a stud in Chase Young, the what top pick in the NFL draft, now with the Saints, has moved around a little bit, has dealt with injuries, but has huge potential. Will Anderson, in the season that he just had, obviously, with the Houston Texans, he's only going to get a lot better. And Marvin Harrison Jr., one of the best receiving prospects we've seen in a long time. New Balance is definitely going about this the right way. And in their statement to their website, New Balance claims that they have been, you know, having conversations about this since 2020. And after years of development with going through various prototypes and designs that were tested by Chase Young and Will Anderson, they finally came out with this product that I will show you guys here in just a second. I gathered some of these pictures just from online to give you guys a look at what you guys think of them. You know, they're not too bad. Um, Marvin Harrison Jr. there showing off another one. There are two kinds um, of cleat that they are going to debut. You see both of them on your screen now. But into some more details, the, the ones that came out, the two types of cleats that they're going to be debuting. One of them is called the Prodigy Cleat. That's the gold and white one, the low top cleat. Um, that is designed for skill players ideally there you go you see them on your screen the low top white ones there the prodigy clee and then also you get the black ones also as you see there now on your screen they are called the fortress which is the black ones and they have a gold on them as well high top clee to provide added support to um, some positions that needed like linemen linebackers you'd imagine Um, based on the description that is my understanding of it Um, but they don't look too bad. They don't look too bad when I first saw the pictures when you see Marvin Harrison there um, taking pictures with them. They look all right for a football cleat. Now, I've never worn football cleats to give you guys any idea of what the feel would be, what an ideal, um, you know, sense that you get off of it, but in terms of style, which is a major portion of this, I think you always got to look good out there on the field. They don't look too bad. Pretty basic. Um, but this is only the first one ever that they're releasing, so um, I expect them to get better and getting more experience with this in this realm of football. If they do have success with it, you can only imagine how much more they're going to grow. Getting some other players on uh, their team as well. You already have three of the young, one of the three of the youngest best players in the NFL, so that's a good start. But I don't know what some other players, you know, situation is with some of these brands, but you can only imagine as the league gets younger, some more talent comes in, more players, I think, are going to join New Balance, and they're doing it the right way. Um, I mentioned the game that this is supposed to be worn on is Arizona's first game um, on September the 8th at 1 p.m., week one against the Buffalo Bills, but I like the design. I love how now New Balance is getting into this with the through with the three young stars to represent their new product, and they just need one veteran presence, one well-known name to really make this thing, you know, explode and really grow into something a lot bigger. But they are starting off, um, I think, on a good note. And to just keep pace with some of the other um, ventures that they have in other sports, I mentioned before, they're involved with soccer and some of the stars that wear some of their cleats. The biggest one that I know um Bukayo Saka, I'm pretty sure he wears New Balances for for Arsenal there over in England. I want to say also his teammate, Gabriel Martinelli, that could be a stretch, but I know they are more prominent also in soccer. I think Raheem Sterling, another English star playing for Chelsea, I want to say he's also rocking the New Balances, but 
in basketball is another area where I've seen New Balance a little bit more uh, frequently with um, you, I feel like I always see this commercial, the one with Kawhi Leonard, Jamal Murray, Tyrese Maxey, Cameron Brink. Those are some big names there that are signed to New Balance in the basketball world. And not only are they some of the best players and performing very well, very marketable, very good faces to you know market this new shoe in, in basketball. But now New Balance is starting to get into it more in the football world. And I like the design. I think it's going to be a success. What do you guys think about them? You know, there's not too much to really hate or uh, love, really. They are pretty basic, like I mentioned, in terms of style, design of everything. But I like this. It seems like Marvin Harrison Jr., it goes along with being a great player. Like I mentioned before, he is, initially when I was talking before the draft, he is a guy that right away you can see being a elite number one wide receiver. And guys that get drafted right away don't just get some of these deals right away. You know, you have to be really projected and really well um, liked or really well, like I mentioned, projected to be a great player if you're getting some of these, you know, deals, branding and all these things like that. Um, it just goes to show what kind of player people think he's going to be already. He hasn't taken a single snap in, let alone a preseason game. We're not even in training camp and he's already pretty much the face of these new cleats uh, of New Balance in terms of football. It's a great way of going about it. It gets more people not only attracted to Marvin Harrison, but also New Balance and the way that they're doing things. Now trying to explore the realm of football and football cleats, but it's interesting. I thought it was cool that Marvin Harrison, I've heard a lot about him on the field, obviously, but off the field, he seems like he's doing very well for himself. So good for him, good for the Arizona Cardinals. He's going to be a great player and good for New Balance for um, getting him to sign with them, getting to be the face of these new cleats and... Hopefully he looks good playing with them and hopefully he performs well in them. But with that being said, you, as you guys see the pictures there, to end off this episode, that'll wrap up this last segment and the show for the week. I want to thank you guys for tuning into today's episode of the GSMC Chip Shot Football Podcast presented by the GSMC Sports Network. Please remember to like, follow, and subscribe to the show and also following the network on all so on all forms of social media like Facebook, Instagram, X, and TikTok for more content. And also, if you want to catch more of this show, check out the GSMC Podcast Network channel and the GSMC Sports Network channel on YouTube for more content around the NFL in different forms on YouTube. And as a final reminder, tune in every weekday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time for more discussions and conversations around the NFL with me, Manny Mara Diege as your host. Thanking you guys for joining me on today's show to close out the week. Hope you guys have a great weekend and I expect to see you guys back here again on Monday. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet. Yeah, damn, ain't that great? Nice. I don't wanna go. To